Hey there, Chad Bonger here for Ohio University Libraries. If you're looking to open a business in a particular location, it's a good idea to try to determine what competitors exist in that location. This video shows you how to use Merge and Inselect to, to do research on a particular location and find companies by industry in that location to locate competitors or potential customers who you might want to actually sell your product to. So once again, you use a Merge and Inselect to find information uh, for the local market. So here you go. So for my example here, Merge and Inselect, I'm going to assume I'm looking for men's suit stores in Columbus, Ohio. Okay, I'm going to ignore the uh, the search box up here because this is good if you're looking for a particular company, but I'm going to look for companies that I don't know the names of. So I'm going to go down and click on Advanced Search, and it's going to take me to the Advanced Search menu here. And the first thing I'm going to do is look at by industry here. So I'm going to do industry, and you can use either SIC codes or NAICS codes. Okay, you might start off with NAICS code and see what you get here. If we go to Nate's code here, we can go under uh, Retail Trade because I'm going to be looking for stores that sell something. And here's the clothing and accessory stores here. And we just keep on drilling down. Here's clothing stores. We can do that. And here we go. There's men's clothing stores. Let's click down and see how far we get here. And see there's, there's men's clothing stores. Okay, Not necessarily suit stores, but that might be good enough for what we want to look for. If you want to, just add the criteria. And you'll notice it's going to find you know over 10,000 companies. We don't want to click search yet because we want to go back up here and do location. Now we're going to do city, and we're going to type in Columbus here. All right, and we will select Columbus and add the criteria. Now this is going to search for any city named Columbus, including Columbus, Georgia. So we want to make sure we limit by state. And so we'll go into North America here, do USA. And now we can go down and choose uh, Ohio from the list there. All right, and add the criteria. Okay, so now we've got 126 companies that have that NAICS code, which is the North American Industry Classification System code for men's clothing stores in Ohio in the city of Columbus. If we do a search here, we're going to get our list of companies here. Okay, so we're going to have 126. Now you might want to get a little bit more granular than that, and you may have to try to mess around with some of the codes here. We use the NAICS code here. I'm going to go back to the advanced search, and I'm going to um, get rid of this one right here for the time being, the, the NAICS code, and I'm going to go back under industry, and we're going to try the SIC code. It's a different code, kind of organizes these things a little bit different way. You can see there's a wholesale and retail trade here. And we're going to go down and see, oh, there is apparel and accessory stores right here. And we have men's and boys clothing stores. And then we have these men's and boys clothing stores not elsewhere classified. That's what that NEC means, okay? All right, so we're going to scroll, we're going to click on that. And we, here we have a suit shop. We got tie shops. We got haberdashery stores. And you can see we have sportswear, except suits and sportswear. Well, let's just do the haberdashery stores, which is a fancy word for uh, uh, stores that make suits and sell suits uh, and do custom tailoring, that sort of thing. Here's the suit shop and the tie shop. We're going to add all that to our criteria. And now if we scroll down, looks like we find 10 companies in Columbus. We do a search here. So this might give us a, a slightly more scaled list than the 126 companies we got before in just the the other stores there. Now we may be missing some companies, so it's a good it's a good uh, research method to kind of do both codes to see what you get. But we're getting some some good uh, some good companies here uh, in in our list, and that's a way we can kind of identify competitors or potential customers if we're selling yarn or selling fabric or selling um, uh, silk or that sort of thing to those people. So a great way to get a list of companies. You can download that to Excel. You can click on the company, find more company information about the company, uh, things like that. So if we go to like Woodhouse Lynch Clothier Incorporated, for example, here we have, you know, company details there. Uh, we can see some, you know, estimated financials if they're a private uh, company, uh, things like that. Surrounding companies in the area, they'll map as far as uh, showing what companies are around that particular company all kinds of good uh, information you can find there for, for your, local, your local companies. Hopefully this video gives you a good idea of how to use Merge and Intellect to locate competitors or businesses in a particular industry in your local market. Should you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. I'll be glad to help any way I can. Take care and good luck with your research.